Hello! Last week I received some free products from the company BB Craft. Check out last week's video to see what I got. This was one of the things that was in the package and it is a diamond painting kit which I'm going to pull out and show you once again. I'll just quickly go through the pieces that were in it but do check out last week's video for a more in-depth look at it. So what it is is a couple of little pendant things which I am going to do in today's video. I'm going to be sticking all of these pretty little diamond beads onto this rather complicated looking pattern. I'm hoping it gets easier once I actually get into it. I don't know if I'm going to do one of them or all of them. I will see how long they take to do. Alright, so these are the diamonds that I use for my skull diamond painting and I have quite a lot of leftover pots and ones I haven't used yet so I'm going to get some alcohol and take off the numbers on these ones and I think what I will do is put all of the diamonds into the different pots because I find it so much easier to take them out of here and also once you cut these bags open there's no way to seal them up and the risk of them just going everywhere is far too great for my liking so yes I'm definitely hoping that I have enough pots to fit all of these in Oh my gosh, there's quite a lot of them. There are 15 of these. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my goodness, I have exactly enough pots to fit all of these bags in. Okay, now I'm looking at these. Some of them are double. See how that one's both got a 12? That one's 11, there's 10, there's two nines. So I do have a couple of doubles there. So I'll probably just tip everything into the same pot if it will hold everything. I really hope it does. so much better now they're all just a lot easier to handle and when you're ready to you just take the lid off shake some in the pot and then put it back into the little round container once you're done so that's what I do for each color so I'm just going to put these ones aside I'm going to do this one and then see how much time I have as to whether I'm going to do any more once I've done that I will try and figure out how to put one of these things on I'm not entirely sure how that oh look there is a hole to hang that through. <laughs> I was looking at it there and I couldn't see it and I'm thinking, well, how are you supposed to attach the thing? They feel quite sticky, but it actually has a layer of plastic on it. So I'm going to have to peel that off in order to get to the adhesive. And then I can start sticking on the little diamonds. At least they've got simple numbers. So it's just basically one through 12. That makes life a lot more easy. And this also has a plastic thing on it. So I'm just going to take off one side and this is the wax that you use to put into the applicator so really all you do is you push it in maybe once or twice but I think once is going to work here and I don't know if you can see it but on the tip inside of the little hole the wax is now sitting there and that will be sticky enough to pick up the diamond off this but not so sticky that the adhesive won't pick it off the diamond so that's how they work and I was taking a look at some of these ones I'm not sure yet if they will work for this particular design because really the numbers are alternating on here if you've got numbers that are sitting side by side then you can do multiple ones so I may have to end up saving these for another diamond painting or three that I might have which are different from this one so 
if I don't get to use these then I will definitely use them in a separate video but I'm really glad I've got them because they will come in really handy for much larger diamond paintings. I think for the smaller diamond paintings I'll probably just stick to the individual one because it's very fiddly and I'm going to need to get my reading glasses and I'll get going with that so let's get into it and do the first one. Okay, just a quick little note, that adhesive is really sticky by the way. I don't know if you can see it, but what it is, is it's like a layer of perspex with the pattern inside, and so there's a gap of about that much between the top of it and the actual pattern itself. So when I'm laying them on, it's like they're floating and it just looks so weird, and it feels weird on my eyes, so I've got my glasses on. Look, new glasses from the optometrist. A few weeks ago <laughs> but anyway onwards and upwards we go So that's the first one done. Now to try and stick this thing together, I'm going to thread this through that hole, which hopefully will actually fit. It's a little bit awkward because the beads kind of hang over it a bit, so I'm just going to have to try and push it. Okay, there we go. It's going to go, thankfully. I thought this was going to be much more difficult. And just very gently pull that through. Now. Let me actually thread it onto here before I attach it to itself. Because that would be really clever if I forgot. Ah, oh, so fiddly. Hang on, I'm going to have to get my pliers, I think. That's better. There we go, that's easy. <laughs> now, I think you slot it in there and then kind of... Ah, look, I did it, yay! <laughs> there we go. I shall have to hang it somewhere. So pretty and shiny. This whole time I thought that this was one piece which had like a bit of a notch in it but no it's two of them look <laughs> what am I like ah now which one am I going to do I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get all of these done in time it's a toss-up between these two I think I might do this one I'll do the star-shaped one
about all I have the attention span for today. Two is enough for now and I might save these ones for a rainy day. But I had a lot of fun with this kit. I really enjoyed it. It's a nice little activity to do when you're a bit bored and it's not too difficult but there is at least some challenge to it. They also probably could do with being covered with a bit of gloss because I can feel the adhesive on the edges there so I might do that at a later time. I'll just see how I go. I'm really hoping they don't pick up too much dust but they would look pretty hanging somewhere. I'll probably find somewhere to put them in my studio. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to click subscribe i hope you're all having a fantastic day and i'll see you all again in my next video i'll swatch you later bye